Mr. Is Rajiva, we're just seeing a secretary to the Sri Lankan Ministry of Disaster Management and Human Rights. Uh, not refugees, prisoners held there against their will. And what do you say to that? Well, I think in the first place they came as refugees. I think we're doing our best to make their conditions well, not as come acceptable there in the first place. But what about now? What about now? We cannot let all of them back immediately until they've been screened and also until the areas they're going to I are saw some kids on there, though. I left out a lot of 10, 11-year-old boys. Are you assuming that they're terrorists? Well, we have actually allowed youngsters and people over 60 to go. Many of them don't go because unlike perhaps in this part of the world, people like families. They want to stay with their families. We had actually allowed 12,000 older people to leave. Only 5,000 went. Today, the National Peace Council of Sri Lanka has actually said, please don't make people go unless they're willing to go, and we will stand by that. With children, it's the same. But of course, considering the conditions under which they lived, I think they're very happy to actually get education now. Let me just say, show you some other pictures. Of course, these are as selective as any. It's a matter of how you look. But these are the vocational training centers. These yes, are it's quite the difficult to see that I'm on sorry, camera, Those actually, are the kids. Why don't you try and uh, show them? I think yes. they're really rather attractive. But I see those are the A-level students, and we had the A-levels in the camp this year. We tried to do the O-levels last year when the Tigers wa had them under control. We did hold the exam in Tiger territory. The Tigers forced half of them to boycott. These are the kids. Yes, I must say, they're rather different pictures from the ones we just saw, aren't they? It all looks a lot nicer there. Well, well I'm not healthier. going to say that's the whole story, but I've got some mm. pictures here of those terrible tents that you saw. We have told the UN that they're really substandard, and we've actually told the UN we've got to upgrade them. The UN promised us that they would put up shelters where people could actually relax, and they didn't. I had to actually be very tough with them a week ago, and they promised to do that. Things are not ideal, obviously, but well, if, if you can... Well, if it's all so nice in there, why won't you let the BBC in? Why can't we come in and film all these people doing A-level studies? Well, you you've actually taken it. Not since it. May, we haven't. Yeah, but can I tell you what happened? Uh, I was one of the first who actually said let everybody in, and in March and April, many crews went in. Um, the BBC yeah, went in, in a big way. Yeah, but I'm talking about since the end of May. The real problem Have was... Have you got something to hide? No, it's that the well, people like... Then why did you let us in? Because people like CNN, I'm afraid, and also some of the mm. press, have really said such nasty things. And people in Sri Lanka don't distinguish between wonderful people like you and people with a separate agenda. <laughs> and what's actually happened, I've had this myself, I've told the BBC, whenever they show something that's not so nice, they ask us well, and we can explain. CNN does not. Well, we're now, not CNN. Lanka, perhaps you could, make, sorry, perhaps I, you could I arrange for the BBC to be I allowed in so I we wouldn't have to use I didn't, mean like CNN. I didn't mean CNN. I'm so sorry. I'm in Channel 4. CNN has not been too bad no, at all. Yeah, you're not Channel 4, but people It just Rich looks as though you're trying to hide something, doesn't it? No, it looks to you because you're not prepared to condemn Channel 4. You did this to us last week. Channel 4 showed an appalling video, which was fraudulent. Wait, so, so this is not about Channel 4. This is about how you are handling uh, the camps. The UN has criticized you. Today, you expelled somebody from UNICEF. Because the, the UN has criticized us. Tell us when. Yes, the UN has. For the camps? But yes. Can I tell okay, you what no, the UN said? Okay, but what about UNICEF? Said? Answer UNICEF. Why did you throw out the UNICEF guy today? Because we didn't throw the UNICEF guy. We didn't renew the visa of a youngster who had been issuing press releases that some of my colleagues, I haven't seen these, thought Saying before. children are malnourished. I'll you I'll just don't like people saying nasty things about what's going on in the camps. No, we did what we did last time with Ocha. These are the ones I dealt with. An OCHA release was really very nasty indeed. I spoke to the head of OCHA. She said they hadn't cleared it with her. I said, Lola, I don't really want for us to look at these, but you promised us that these releases would be checked with you. She got it withdrawn from the website. She took out the fraudulent picture. There was really one very misleading picture. And we expect senior members of the UN to actually keep their staff in order, just as you would expect us as a government to make sure that bad things are not done by some of our people. But it is very difficult to distinguish for people who, you know, I'm sure in Sri Lanka we don't distinguish I'm one afraid, skin I'm afraid, another. I'm afraid uh, we've run out of time, but I look forward to the invitation for a BBC crew to go in there. I'd and then we love can see the BBC to be in if you don't bring Channel 4 with you. Well, we won't, Thank I you. can assure you. That would be